Call the meeting to order. We have the motion moved by Councillor Morio, second by Councillor Jacobson. Resolve the agenda for the July 18th uh, regular meeting council be received. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. We have the motion moved by Councillor Morio, second by Councillor Jacobson. Resolve that the minutes of the July 4th, 2017 regular meeting council be adopted as received. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay, item 4-1 on your agenda. Uh, your delegation isn't here, but you have a copy of the letter from the Saptoia Education Authority where they have a training program for youth. Uh, any comments, Julie, on that? Um, she came in to see me and um, I asked her if she would want to come and talk to the uh, council about it and she said she sure would like that and so she may still Okay, we can add her on the agenda if she shows up. Yeah, yeah, and um, she wanted to talk about this program that they recently just implemented. She apologized for it starting, you know, um, right in summer, but they have been trying to get it started a little earlier. And, uh, just looking for some participation from town businesses or the town itself. Do we have any place in the recreation or anything that we could use some of uh, Possibly. Parks. Yeah, we would, we would talk to you about that. <coughs> okay. Councillor Jacobson. Uh, on this here, uh, uh, with the uh, Saptoyak Education Authority, we have actually taken advantage of this uh, in our own business and there's several other businesses in town have as well. But I think that if uh, Margaret does have any students that are available, it would be good to have them assist us with our parks people. Mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity. Councillor Sapple. I see the letter was addressed to the Chamber of Commerce, but did the Chamber actually send this out to other places? I know I did not receive it, but I just didn't know how well uh, how well it was advertised that, so that people would know that they have this opportunity. And so if Margaret shows up, uh, then we'll add her to the agenda. Okay, we'll go to item 5.1 on your agenda, the Municipal Finance and Advisory Services, the pre-election reminders for councillors for uh, October in 2018. Okay, so that's just for information. We'll go to the Superintendent Works Report. Council has a copy of the Superintendent Works Report. Any questions or comments to Derek on the report? Just to add, I have, for Council's information, uh, a draft local improvement bylaw. So there's no resolution or even discussions, really. This is just for you to take home and take a look. Uh, basically, it's what we talked about, trying to get a consistent fee, whether it's curb and asphalt, road base, <coughs> or water and sewer services. There's a price per meter calculated on past jobs for each and uh, that was used so we can have an actual estimate, or, sorry, actual cost to load on the estimate so that they don't have to wait for tenders or anything. So on a bad year for tenders, I guess the town may lose. Sometimes the owners may lose, but this, is, this will be a consistent cost every time we do a local improvement. And... Uh, this is just for your information to read over. If you have any questions, email us. It will be on an upcoming agenda. So Councillor White, at the table. just a query, Derek, uh, an update on 13th. What's happening? How is it going? It's a, what's its lifespan here? Uh, they just finished the sewer. We're into the south manhole, so it's complete. They have the water main to put in, and uh, they won't have to hold an elevation, so it will be a fraction of the time. Uh, we're hoping to get the water main in before a rodeo, and then it'll just be building up the road, and, and we're out of there. So estimated time to complete would be 10 days after rodeo. Councilor Sapp. I guess a couple things. How far are we off on our original estimate on how long that project would have taken? I estimated seven weeks. We started June 15th. 
So we are we are on our fifth week, so we're gonna be one week over over our just in case because sometimes the public feels that it's taking longer than it should. Well no just to be able to field questions easier. Yeah, it does seem like it's crawling, but uh, you know they were dealing with a lot of water, and we've had issues on the project. It comes with every project, but uh, all in all, uh, with the storm sewer collapse and the rain days, uh, it's not too bad for the length of that project. I think on our website it went up that we would be completely complete by rodeo, and that is not. I definitely did not uh, post that on the website. So whoever put that up there, I guess we'll let them take it down. <laughs> second. Com okay, okay. Councillor okay. Saffo with a, a second and then Councillor Friesen. Meeting with Grazier Manufacturing on pallet storage for handyman project. Um, yeah, that was so that we can get all of the small pieces of equipment like mowers and you name it, anything that could go on a pallet that was going on that floor in that building will now be up, up top. <clears throat> Council Freeze. Um, 13th is going to be closed. What about the intersection? The so intersections will be open. Will be open. Yeah. Councilor White. At our last council meeting, we discussed in general terms the possibility, embryonic at best, of converting that fenced in area on the grounds to possibly a dock parking. Councilor Sackle had some excellent questions relative to signage and gates and things like that and uh, I'm not sure if you had the chance because I know you're up to your eyeballs over there. Has anything happened with that yet? No, if that is what council wants to see, I guess I haven't got a direction. Do you guys want to see like a price of what a two gates would be? Because we have to have the initial gate and then an entrance where they do their thing and then a, a gate to the actual park some signs, would you guys want to see a price for that? I can't see us going forward with it unless we do the prices. I think before we jump the gun on any prices, we should talk to the Ag Society whether or even we'll let us use it. That's and you told me to just feel them out, which is what I have done. They have not said yes and they have not said no, but I have talked to them. I think before Derek puts a lot of work into it, we want a yes okay, or no. Okay, so then I'll carry on. <clears throat> I agree. Morgan. Um, with that storm sewer, uh, Derek, that got all cleaned out good and it's operational now? Yep, they cleaned it right out. One thing we do know is the roots are growing, so they, they will be back if we don't do anything. So we're looking at options, I guess, on, on to mitigate the roots. Okay. And then with this proposal, you want, you want the committee to review it and then set a meeting date to go through it? <coughs> yeah, I just, I just put this out as information. Uh, we probably will have a committee meeting I think that's a good idea how to handle this instead of just going emails on what could be bad. We'll set a committee date, hopefully at the end of this meeting, let's do it. Okay, and yeah. uh, we can discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly. And then bring something back to the council to see as a whole after. Yeah, because then you guys can see how we came up with the price per foot to like, really get into the details. Yeah. Uh, at the last meeting, Derek, or a couple of meetings ago, we talked about a rate study for a proposal to stage the water rate increases. Right, so we got any response to that? Uh, yeah, we got just one proposal back out of four asked uh, from Associate Engineering in Winnipeg, and they will, they are started. There's, we need to give them the information plus the last rate study, and they did not give me a time of when it will be complete. So we've given it to them? Uh, yeah, the resolution I had was to was to uh, search or get quotes and select that the lowest cost uh, for the rate study. It can still, uh, like we haven't signed anything on it, so it's still, like if council doesn't want to do the rate study, it is $49.50, that's what it's going to cost us. I think we're good. That's the direction to perform. Councilor Friesen. I just have one more question, I'm sorry. Uh, the corner of Duncan and Forth down here by the bridge, there's a bunch of trees down there. Is that our job or highways? It is our job. We just we just piled them there until we can get a truck in. So they are going to get They're going to get there. Okay. I just had someone call me about that. So. Yeah, Mike warned me about that. We'll probably get some calls because yeah. it doesn't look that good. Okay, so they are going to get removed out of town. Yeah. Any other questions to Derek? 
If not, we have the motion moved by Councillor Morial, second by Councillor Jacobson. Resolve that the Superintendent Works Report be received. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. Okay, you have the Fire Department report for June. Any questions? Councilor Morial. Uh, since Chief Adorchuk is here, with all the fires that are going on lately and stuff like that, with uh, residents and stuff like that, how is that affecting your budget? <coughs> uh, we right now are 100 man hours over last year and six calls. So, uh, about what we expected. It's tight. Yeah, it's <laughs> tight. We're, uh, we're sitting at 11 calls this month alone. Council White, uh, Chief Fedorchuk, is there a protocol when it's a false alarm as a malfunction as opposed to human error? There is, yeah. After the second malfunction, uh, the residents of the address will get billed the false alarm field. That fee, sorry. Um, we feel that uh, to give it to them on the first instance would be fair in some occasions. Uh, malfunction might be humidity, uh, and it's not necessarily human error all the time. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? If not, we have the motion moved by Councillor Jacobson, second <coughs> by Councillor Morio. Result that the fire department report for June 2017 be received. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Then meeting minutes, or are they circulated by email? No, they're always put up. They're all, right they're always put up. Yeah, always any put councillors up have any questions on it? Then meeting minutes. Okay, council members report. Councillor Morio. Um, didn't have any meetings uh, this period, but uh, I had a few uh, people mention to me uh, if we can maybe get word back to Rise to see if they're going to actually. Uh, uh, with the new signs that they put up on like on Highway 10 and stuff like that, the trees and the grass is growing up halfway up this sign already and it's obscured. So I don't know if they have any thoughts or plans to keep those things visible. So, you mean the signs uh, like further out, like by Benito? And like yeah, past Benito, out by Alphabert, out that, that way and uh, stuff like that. So I, I've seen the one on Highway 10 coming from Dauphin and it's like... <coughs> Small poplar saplings are like halfway up the sign already, so, so. can we just inquire and see if we have plans or budget to keep those things visible or since they're brand new signs? Other than that, nothing else. Councilor Jacobson. Uh, I attended the opening ceremonies for the baseball Manitoba Provincial Under 13A Championships. Uh, the committee had a great weekend for baseball, and I congratulated uh, I congratulate the winners from Russell, who played a, an outstanding game, a really good baseball tournament they had down there. Um, and then I thank the committee as well, Jennifer Furland and her committee, who did an outstanding job of hosting this event in, in Swan River, again, another provincial event in Swan River. Um, a few days later, I met with Julie and Patty down at the Legion Park in regards to some issues that were brought up about park maintenance. Uh, those are things that will be dealt with. And then also we had, well, we further went into discussion about some uh, policies and uh, agreements that we need to formalize with the Ag Society with expectations and so forth. Uh, and also some, uh, you know, what we're going to deal with with the chair and the picnic tables moving forward with uh, parks. So anyway, with that, we'll, uh, our committee will have a chance to discuss that this fall, and hopefully we'll come to some kind of arrangements with that. Other than I didn't have anything else, I did want to mention though, when you're talking about signs, and Derek, uh, I think I mentioned it once before, but the signs coming into Swan, like the cement ones that we have, uh, just the north one, it's, it's really starting to lean really bad, and so some point in time we need to shore up some foundation under that thing before she falls over. Yeah, we're getting a plan to, we'll have to arrange a 
a crane, really, uh, not like a, a small crane, but a little home so you know, trying to figure out a plan actually. There. I know what actually went before, but yeah. I'll do it again. <clears throat> Thank you. Councilor Sample. Uh, not too much to report. There was no meetings for me during this last uh, two-week period for many of our boards I sit on. But anyways, uh, last time Chief Lordship couldn't make it here and we attended that fire protection seminar in Brandon. And it was uh, very enlightening to say the least. You know, we got a little piece, we've seen a little fraction of what you uh, what you guys have to do and the training you have to take. And, really opened our eyes and I, I know we I've never been in the fire hall since I've been a kid basically and I said we, we do tours of all the uh, all of our infrastructure you know the town shop the lagoon garbage recycling but we never had a council tour I guess as far as I can remember I think we have to include you and possibly even if you want to set up a training time where us as counselors can come and Join in one of your training days. I think it'd be a good eye opener for everybody because it's it was it was it was a very good course and it was I wish all council could have attended but uh, it was very it was very enlightening and they they gave us a lot of information but it was very good to see that everything they they told us that our fire chief should be doing our fire chief is doing and doing very well so <coughs> that's a compliment to you because. Uh, I think, I think the job you do, I think we're very lucky to have you appreciative of all the work you do down there. That's that's it for me. Thank you. Councillor Friesen. I'll just echo what he just said. How many fire chiefs would meet me at 7.30 on a Sunday morning to put out a flag that was burning. Thank you for meeting me there. Um, I was afraid I woke you up, and I obviously did, because good thing I know he's down there, too. Um, settlement services, we had a potluck supper the other night with the board. It was very nice to have a casual get together with them all. Um, August 1st is the Communities in Bloom Judges. If anybody wants to be around for that, I think that's a council meeting. Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> that's, that's all I have to tell Council White. Uh, I had the opportunity yesterday to meet with uh, Minister Cullen, Cliff Cullen, Minister of Trade and Commerce, and the possibility of uh, a Manitoban becoming involved with trade and commerce uh, from Thailand, around Livingston specifically, just it's completely embryonic to talk about. He thought uh, it was something he would like to follow up on. Ron is the Vice Chair of the Thai Canadian Chamber of Commerce. He's also Vice Chair of the Asian Chamber of Commerce, which represents 22 different countries. So they're going to have some dialogue, they exchange emails, so I think that goes well for Manitoba as a whole. We're doing some uh, communicating with Prairie Mountain Health, I got a call today and all the appointments to the board are staggered, so mine in fact was about a six month appointment. They phoned me today and said, if you'd like to stay on, we would like you to stay on, so I felt uh, positive about that. I could have gone the other way, I suspect. But uh, so we're staying on and uh, His Worship has shared an email with us uh, to, from Prairie Mountain Health that things look very positive in contract negotiating with the doctors we hope to have soon. And what was the last one? Uh, landing fees. I'm going to, going to sow a seed with council about the possibility of charging landing fees for airplanes landing at our airport, something over 4,000 pounds, for example. Apparently it happens in other jurisdictions. And the possibility of a storage fee for planes to stay overnight. Obviously there's a catch-22 to that. You charge too much, they will come. So it's something I... I Throw it there for thought. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Really very quiet. The only thing I have, I have a letter from re retired teachers of Manitoba. It says, Dear Mr. McKenzie, on behalf of the Retired Teachers Association of Manitoba, thank you for bringing greetings on behalf of the town of Swan River to the 2017 annual general meeting and attending the evening reception. The local arrangements made by the Swan Valley Retired Teachers chapter definitely left our delegates with a good impression of Swan River. Anecdotally, I understand that many of our delegates also enjoyed local restaurants and shopping outside of the EGM activities. Best wishes, Rosalie Bourne, President of Retired Teachers in Manitoba. That's about the only thing that I have. Julie? Um, I've been uh, dealing with uh, Diamond, our software company uh, for our accounting system, about um, 
talking about different modules that we own but we're currently not using, so looking into that. Um, I'm currently setting up on online staff training for uh, the new Accessibility for Manitobans Act um, because I'm developing that policy as well. That'll, that'll come to council in the next meeting. And um, I also attended the, um, the workshop with, uh, for the fire, fire department, or fire protection workshop, and again, we talked about it at that meeting that we were here, but um, I again uh, want to echo what these two have said, that you do a great job, and it makes me feel good that I don't have to do all that work that some of the other, the other CAOs have to. So, um, and I appreciated wearing all that equipment. <laughs> for, for two and a half hours. Um, I've arranged uh, a retirement uh, lunch for Esther Nesbitt. She worked at the RCMP office. So um, it is at the pizza place at noon this Thursday. And um, I was talking with uh, Kelvin Campo uh, from Sakatoyak, and um, <coughs> there's a possibility that signing of the agreement will happen in August 15th. Okay. On behalf of the Talisong River, I'd like to thank Esper, Esther Nesbitt for her years of service as a clerk in the RCMP office uh, and to wish her all the best in her retirement. Here, here. And congratulate Calvin Campo on winning the Seniors Golf Tournament in Swan River. <laughs> oh, Shooting right. a 70 for wow. a senior is pretty awesome, and the par is 76. So we'll continue on. Uh, we have bylaw 6 2017 6 Avenue lift station upgrade project borrowing. The motion moved by Councillor Morio, second by Councillor Jacobson. Resolved that bylaw 6 2017 being a bylaw provide for the expenditure and borrowing of funds to upgrade the mechanical piping and pumping and fully replace electrical components plus installation of additional monitoring equipment at the 6th Avenue wastewater pump station located 314 6th Avenue North be read a first time. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. The motion moved by Councillor Jacobson, seconded by Councillor Morio, resolved that bylaw 16, 2017, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a financial assistance program to provide an incentive for housing and commercial industrial construction development be read a third time and be passed. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Moria, resolved that bylaw 5, 2017, being a bylaw of the Thomas Song River to provide for the expenditure and borrowing of funds for the purchase of firefighting equipment, 15 self contained breathing apparatus, SCBAs, mobile rack, and batteries be read a second time. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. <coughs> The motion moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Jacobson, to resolve that bylaw 5, 2017, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River, provide for the expenditure and borrowing of funds for the purchase of firefighting equipment, 15 self contained breathing apparatus, SCBAs, mobile rack, and batteries to be read a third time and be passed. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. The motion moved by Councillor Sackle, pardon me, moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Sackle, resolved the Council's follow-up but hereby approved for payment. General Council check 20874 to 20973 for a total of 315,417.92 and payroll account from check 4017 to 4023 for a total of 116,234.03. Any questions to Julia on any of the checks? Councillor Morial. Uh, check number 0020895 to Gloria Concrete Construction. Is that for the Hendan project? Yep. Yeah. 
Any other questions? All in favor of the resolution? Carried. The motion moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen, whereas the capital budget of 2016's financial plan included $300,000 for a back truck with $100,000 to be borne by the general fund and $200,000 to be borne by reserves. But such purchase was not made until the 2017 fiscal year, and whereas Section 169.5 of the Municipal Act states the Council may authorize an expenditure for an amount not provided for in an operating budget or capital budget that may be and may fund the expenditure by transfer from the municipality reserve funds and section 1697 states no public notice or public hearing is required for an expenditure funded by a transfer from a specific purpose reserve unless the expenditure is for a purpose other than for which the reserve is established whereas the town of swan river purchased a sewer jetter hydrovac truck combo unit with accessories at a cost of $205,944.92, therefore be resolved that 200000 be transferred from the Machinery Replacement Reserve Fund to the General Operating Fund. Discussion? Councillor Jacobs. No, sorry. All in favor? Carried. The motion moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen, whereas the capital budget for the year 2017 included loader to be borne by the machinery replacement reserve to a total of $150,000, and whereas additional costs of $1,494.29 pertaining to the purchase of the loader have been recorded since Resolution 217.296 to transfer $105,574.62 from the machine replacement reserve fund to the general operating fund, therefore be it Resolve 1,494.29 be transferred from the Machinery Replacement Reserve Fund to the General Operating Fund to cover the additional costs. Discussion, Councillor Morial. Uh, Derek, what's utility in this $1,500? Uh, that's, the radio was one, we had to purchase a radio. I think that was $600. So the radio from the old motor? Uh, I believe it went into a truck. We put that into half time. We were, we were about three radios short this year, so we got snafu pretty quick. <clears throat> and I didn't purchase a new radio for the the, uh, the other. I can't really say. I don't. I don't know. I have to get back to you. So it would be like potentially deckling and radio and stuff like that. Yeah, it would be. Uh, I think I think on that expenditure when it was a beacon, but we got one back, so we've got a. We, we got our money back for that beacon, but this is still an expenditure. So, so this is not an expenditure expenditure to the vendor that sold us the loader. This is additional stuff that we put on it after we received That's it. That's correct. That wasn't on the tender. That's right. Any other discussion? All in favor? Carried. The motion moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen, resolve the administration and management safety footwear allowance policy be adopted as received. Discussion? All in favor? Carry. The motion moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Sack, to resolve that the Chief Administrative Officer be authorized to sign the building inspector contract. Discussion? Councillor Moran. So Derek, how is the uh, going with the, the building inspector? Uh, good. Like the, I think the spring went went well. I haven't had a lot of negative comments. Uh, Ron, what's different from last year to this year is is in a gray area situation that Ron is unsure what to do. He's bringing it directly to me, and. Uh, you know, we've had our differences, but I, I am a superior and I'll make the decision and he goes with it and, and he is fine with that. So I think it's worked well so far. So we're erring on the, the side of progression with the contractors? I believe so, yeah, yes. <clears throat> I don't know if anybody else has heard anything negative. I know I, I haven't. Any other discussion? All in favor of the resolution? Okay. 
The motion moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Sack, covers all that Tracy Houston be authorized to travel to the Palm Manitoba on July 19, 2017, to attend a National Lifeguard Certification Training. Discussion? All in favor? The motion moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Uh, Resolve that pursuant to section 1523 of the Municipal Act, Council go with the committee and close the meeting to the public. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. Okay.